Hey friends, it's Dimitri with Urbashka Streetwear. So right now I'm going on a walk. I usually like to go to this really cool park. It has a nice gravel trail and I go on a walk in between work sessions to take a break. It's just really nice. But anyways, I thought I'd share a really funny story. So it's bizarre and I've never had a customer message me something like this. So the other day, <clears throat> a customer messaged me on Instagram and they were like, hey, did you put a, a skirt into my package? Like, I, I, so the customer bought a hat and I ship hat in a box and it got to him. And I was like, no, like, what the heck are you talking about? What does that even mean? And he was like, no, uh, I got a skirt in my package, like a plaid skirt. And he sent me a photo of it with the box and the label and everything. And I'm like, I'm like, I have no clue what that is, why that's in there. I was like, we never have sold skirts, like, you know, women's skirts. We, I've never even had that in my personal possession anywhere near me. So I was super, super confused. And I was like, can you give me your, your email or your tracking info so I can investigate this? And he, it was really weird because he was also asking me to investigate it. He asked me probably like two times he was referencing it. He's like, can you please look into this? And I'm like, sure. So then I looked at his tracking and I could not find any info uh, with the tracking. And the reason why is because this package was delivered four months ago. And that's the other weird thing. So he got the hat and everything, but he decided to message me about this four, four months after the fact and that's what was confusing to me well the first part was why was there a plaid skirt in the package supposedly and second why did he email or message me four months after the fact to ask about it and then it got me thinking was this dude was he just trying to do a clever prank or something but i don't know if he was and the reason why was because we had a conversation back and forth about it and all it ended with was well thanks for looking into it and you know I don't know what he would have gotten from it if it was a prank because it didn't really go anywhere so now I'm just trying to figure out how did that happen and what what was really going on or was it a prank that he was trying to do but it kind of failed um, I don't know it's bizarre so that's never happened to me before and I don't think that he was a scammer type person because I asked him some questions. Usually if I get bizarre messages from people, uh, customers, I kind of dig down and investigate with them and try to find out what's going on. And I asked him some, some questions about his order. And then I was like, well, did you get your hat? And he was like, yes, I did. I love it a lot. And I'm like, okay, well, I, I looked into it and I couldn't, I couldn't find anything about it. I even asked uh, Michael, I was like, hey Michael, did you did you put a skirt in the package, you know, as a joke or anything? He's like, no, and he was laughing about it. So yeah, uh, because you know, in the past, I don't even know if this has happened before, but you can kind of tell if, if customers are kind of being scammy, you know, like there's those scams where they order something and then they get their package and then maybe a week later or something, they're like, hey, I never received my package, can I get a refund? That hasn't really happened to me, really at all, after sending out thousands of orders. And this customer, with this bizarre story, he wasn't asking for anything, he wasn't asking for a refund or anything like that, and he was satisfied with his purchase. So that's why I'm really confused about this bizarre story. <laughs> what, what was really going on? And did that box contain a skirt? I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, if you guys have any theories on how it ended up there, leave me some comments down below and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks.